Hi to all my cancers. This is for you, your end of June, end of June 2018, your love reading. So I just shuffle one last time. I've been shuffling, so this is one last time for end of June cancers. This is going to be a very super brief reading, so uh, because we are coming towards the end, the last couple of days of June, so we will not read too much into that. We will focus more into the new month and the new quarter for July, August and September, okay? It might take some time because I haven't got any one of them out yet, so bear with me, give me some time. Um, I can see that you cancers, you have been fighting for the past. You are fighting you are fighting for the past. A lot about the past. Going back to words, going back to the last person, the previous person, you are fighting to work out something. But I have to tell you that whatever that was in the past is not the one for you. The better, the better opportunity for you is actually the next, the next or going forward, going forward. It will not be someone whom you are already acquainted with right now. Whatever that you are fighting with, fighting for right now at this point in time, be it an ex, be it anyone whom you tried to work out with, I don't see very strongly there might be a chance but let's see but as of now for the first row for the first card i'm not seeing the the better opportunities for you is actually for the next the next person the up and coming which is soon to come very soon to come let's just say let's just say one to two weeks to about one month one month time. So by the end of next month, July, you should see something close, something near to it. Like you will start to be exchanging with someone new. With you will start you will you will start to see some new some new change and some new vibrations. And then whatever the past person, they will stay in the past. They will stay in the past. But I know, I know, I can see that you are still hanging on. You are still hanging on with the last one you are still fighting for the last person your central energy your central issue over here is about being aggressive sometimes it can also mean defensive okay but i see a lot of fighting but it is not fighting with someone else it is fighting within yourself there is this strong trust and belief within yourself about the past you don't think and you never believe that there's anyone better than the past, than the previous, than the ex. You don't think so. You have to... You are probably one, at least in at this point in time, you're probably one of the rare, one of the rarer species where who thinks that there wouldn't be anyone better. They are the best. I can't find anyone better. No, but this is not the case. Because here on the table, even though we started off with this with these two cards, but I don't see it as something new on the table. Like I still feel very much that you are revisiting, going back to the past person, to the past relationship because of this. This one came first, the ace of wands. This is in upright. And then followed by the wheel of fortune in an upright position. So, but these two cards I'm seeing, it is actually for the future, going forward. Up to about five weeks, five of pentacles, up to about five weeks. And this is a low-hanging fruit for you, by the way. It's not going to be five years. It's a low-hanging fruit. It could even be as soon as about five days to a week. Maximum five weeks, about a month. By the end of four weeks, one month's time, you will be in exchange with someone new. You will talk to someone new. You will meet someone new. And by the time comes, 
the past person will become like a devil who's daunting, who's daunting you so much. Like, actually, you can't really blame them. You were the one who put yourself in this situation. You were your. You were the one who stick yourself, get yourself stuck with the previous, with the past person, with the past relationship. You can't really blame. You gave. I can see you gave a lot. You give. You give a lot of yourself, mentally, emotionally, on the soul, on the soul level, resources, financially. You give a lot of of yourself, okay. And because you have given that much, all of this becomes like a on your back. And if it hurts, at any point in time, if it ever hurts, it goes in really deep. I can see that it's going to be a pretty tough, uh, tough, tough job. It's going to be pretty tough for you to let go. It's going to be pretty tough because as of now, as you are watching this with me, I see this stubbornness in you. You're just not letting go, and you continue to believe. I mean, I don't. There's nothing right or wrong. It is just this is you, your energy right now today. You continue to believe that this is the best. You can't find anyone better. By the way, I'm actually quite awkward, feeling quite awkward because someone is around me. So, but I try to be very normal. Okay, coming back. And you know it yourself. You know it yourself. No. I don't understand. This is self-conflicting to me. The way I look at it, this is self-conflicting. On one hand, you think that you know there will not be anyone as good as this person. On the other hand, you know and you see that this person doesn't love you, like you do. Like you love them, doesn't love you as much as you love them, doesn't give you as much as you gave them. You know it. This is and this is self-conflicting. Like I don't understand. <laughs> Probably you are one of the species who, one of the sign who is. Pretty sentimental, sentimental of everything of the past of the old. Sentimental. I mean, you can't be blamed. Sometimes sentimental can be a good trait to have. Okay, unlike some air signs, <laughs> unlike some air signs, they are like they are, they are emotionless. They don't even, they don't care about how people think. They don't care about how people feel. They just do what they want. They just. They just have no conscience, but I mean this is a good thing. But to a to a degree, I see this might just be hurting you, yourself. You are hurting yourself. You have a lot of love to give. You have a lot of love to give. Where if you if you meet the right person, if you meet the better one. You continue to have a lot of love to give. Trust me, you will be a lot happier. You will be a lot happier. So this, this Queen of Cups came first. This is you, your energy, Queen of Cups. You have a lot of love. And this chariot is that you will move on very fast. Move on very fast. Why are you able to move on very fast? Because the next person is going to give you so much of uh, confidence. For you to have in them, in this relationship dynamic, that you will not have any concerns at all. Unlike in the past, before before time, this two, and the top two, okay. If you see these two pair, just like that, these two came first, and then followed by these two. New beginning. There's new beginning coming. Okay. And your overall general energy. Overall general energy is the world. You are ready. You are ready. But you are. You just. You know how on the racing track. 
you are ready for a race, but you are in the wrong lane. It's like running track. Okay, running track, lane one, lane two, lane three, lane four. You are supposed to be, let's say, in lane one, first lane. You are ready. You kneel down, you get, get on your ready position, but you are on the lane, on the second lane or the third lane. You are ready, but you are in, on, the, on, the wrong, on the wrong lane, on the wrong track. But you are ready. You are ready to continue to give. But I just don't wish you to be giving back to the wrong person. You, you, I cannot emphasize enough. You're just giving it to the wrong person. Put yourself out there. Put yourself out there. I wouldn't say this to everyone, but only for you. Put yourself out there. I would see this is the other person that you are dealing with, the emperor in reverse. Seriously, who are they? Who are they? They're just an emperor in reverse. They are not even in an upright position. Do I need to talk about what emperor is about? Emperor is about someone who has everything, who is stable, emotionally stable, financially stable, who is uh, stable on the soul level, mentally stable, everything. Family, family-wise, everything is good. But this is in reverse. Who are you giving your attention to? And then, four of pentacles. This person is not even giving them, giving you their all. I will go through I will go through this deck with you. Let's see. Okay, we are at twelve minutes. Okay, so we are done with the Emperor, we're done with the Four of Pentacles. I'll just flip like that. And then seven of cups in reverse. It might be you, it might be the other person, but in terms of options, what are the options that you have for yourself? This is seven of cups in reverse. You might not have enough options for yourself. If it's the other person's energy, you might not even be their option at all, okay? The star in reverse, the both of you are just not what each of you wanted for yourself. Like, the, the kind of person that you wanted for yourself is different than to this person whom you are dealing with, okay? Falling out, not, un not uniting together, to some, some extent, you might be dealing with a player. The moon, the truth unfolded. You found it, you know it. Five of Wands. Okay, there has been disagreement, fights, cat fights, or more serious fight. Justice in reverse. It just doesn't get you on track. Is are you on track to a, a stable relationship, to stability? No, justice in reverse. Because we are talking about justice card being a marriage card. The both of you will be thinking about how much to invest into this relationship. Do you really want to continue to invest in this relationship? And then this is non-progressive. This is progressing, but this is non-progressive. Hmm. Knight of Swords. Communication, barely even there. In reverse, by the way. I forgot the talk. Ace of Swords. Yeah, yeah it, it, could, it could mean something good. It could mean something good, but... Is it the truth? Is it the truth? Because when you have an Ace of Sword followed by Three of Sword, you hear something nice, you know, they are music to your ears, but then what? Are they really music to your ears? No, they are not. This is Three of Swords. They are all lies. Lies and deception. All, all the love, all the love has been poured down to the drain, went into the drain. But you continue to want to hang on. You are like self-torturing yourself. You are, you are putting yourself in a, in a, yeah, you're just self-torturing yourself. Strength in reverse, okay? Strength in reverse. You just do not know how far this will go. You just do not know. This is the two card, three card. Four. Okay, let's do this two, two by two. So we have the king 
of sword, so this card came first, the king of sword, dealing with the queen of sword. There will still be and continue to have a lot of disagreement, quarrels, fight. Whoever, you can be this, you can be this, he can be this, she can be this. Not able to let go, okay? You will be stuck, you will continue be to be stuck if you don't let it go now at this point in time. This is the best time to let it go, especially when Mer Mercury is going retrograde. This is the time to break everything off. Be single and happy alone. Trust your instinct, whatever your inner voice is telling you. Trust it. Never doubt it. Okay, so this is already half the deck. The cards are in are stacked in a way like this where you can't you just can't doubt. You cannot doubt. How is it that all the good cards are not in an upright position for you? Like the strength in a reverse in a reverse position? The emperor in a reverse position, the justice in a reverse position. So, cancers, this is for you. Your June, end of June. Anyway, this is just a very brief reading, and it's just gonna last for a short while. Uh, keep your faith going. I will work on a the monthly and a quarterly reading very soon. Hopefully, it will turn out to be better for all of you. All right. Till then, I will see you. If you need to to write to me, details are in the description box below, and I will see you very soon again. Bye bye.